Me this morning, as I mentioned, to talk about urgent care from San Juan Health Partners. Tammy Thornton is here. She is the new urgent care manager at uh, San Juan Health Partners. And good morning to you. Good to have you here. Welcome. Good morning, Scott. Thank Thanks. you for being here. Thanks for having us. You bet. Also, Shailene Brown is here as well, and she is the clinic director for San Juan Health Partners. Good morning to you. Good morning, Scott. Good to have you back. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. You bet. Good to have both of you here. And Tammy, let's start with you as uh, kind of the, the newest part. You've just started this job basically just a few months ago, right, as manager of, of Urgent Care. Tell me about that. I did. I started at Urgent Care back at the end of October, um, just this last year. So I've been there just a couple of months, lots of changes, um, good changes, positive changes. Coming. Right. So. Very good. Excellent. And Shailene Brown, let me ask you a little bit about your work. Of course, as clinic director, there are some new clinics opening up around the area and, and things along that line, yeah, right? Yeah, we did. Um, we recently opened um, Interventional Spine on Farmington Avenue. Um, Dr. Jones, Dr. Garmov, and Eric Griffith are in that practice. Um, it was an existing practice that was in our um, San Juan Regional Spine Center, and we needed more space because we're growing that service line. So we moved them into that building, and now we have two procedure rooms, and uh, we're working to increase our patient population going through that service. So we're super excited about that. Got you. And, and remind us kind of the types of things that they can now work with and deal oh, with, right? Interventional spine is really very, or interventional pain is really around um, taking care of pain um, interventionally without narcotics, um, not having to do medications, actually doing some needle guided procedures and injections and those kind of things and blocks to stop that pain at the source. So I see. it's a really good. Um, program to have here in San Juan County and for our patients. Right. Very interesting. And this can be um, back pain, back hip, pain, hip pain. Yeah. Hip, neck, um, any of those places, shoulder. Right. Yeah. All those things mm -hmm. where, we, where people have pain. Right. Okay. Very good. Good to know. Tammy Thornton, I'm going to come back to you and ask you a little bit about urgent care. And there's always the important conversation about um, what is an emergency and what is an urgency, right? And when should folks come to urgent care and maybe not go down to the emergency department uh, at the hospital? And that's something I know that the hospital strives very hard to, to remind all of us about, right, of when to go see your folks at urgent care. Sure. So, um, you know, Ur San Juan Health Partners Urgent Care is open seven days a week. Um, our hours are 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. And we are there to serve the community for things like cold and flu symptoms, minor cuts, um, broken bones. And for the emergency department, they are open 24 hours. They are for, you know, stroke symptoms, severe chest pain, severe abdominal pain, um, and those types of things. Got you. And so that's an important thing to, very, to, to remember, right? Very important, when, yeah. when we're talking about health and when to go and, uh, and things along that line. And there's a big change happening at the urgent care, right, is that things are kind of moving back indoors. Yes. So our respiratory clinic, um, over the past three years, we initially moved this outside um, at the beginning of the pandemic, um, the beginning of 2020. 2020 um, and currently, over the last couple of weeks, we have begun transitioning this back indoors. Um, so we have separated our waiting room to a respiratory, non-respiratory um, side. So anybody presenting to San Juan Health Partners Urgent Care can come inside and be registered um, and be seen by a provider. Got you. And so explain to me the differences then, and you did it before we came on the air this morning too, but just to remind me and our audiences, right, if someone's presenting with a respiratory something, that just means maybe sniffles or cold or something like, like that? Is that what we're talking about? Sure. So, and, and when we say respiratory, non-respiratory, really with the respiratory clinic, we're talking about any kind of illness, um, you know, any fever, cough, runny nose, sore throat, those are all going to be considered respiratory um, illness. Got you. But if I'm coming in with a sprained ankle or something, that's a different, that's a non-respiratory situation. That I can hobble in to see urgent care. Yes. Okay. That's the and that's the difference. But you have them separate. We do. We have we have them separated gotcha. to keep everyone safe. And this primarily was because of the pandemic, right? Is that the reason that everything was kind of moved outside? Because again, we we were all 
told and learned that uh, things were better with groups of people outside rather than inside in an enclosed space. Correct. We initially did this to try to keep um, both patients and our caregivers safe. Um, you know, when we look at the continued decrease in the, posi the COVID positivity rate um, over the last few years, um, you know, our COVID positivity rate back in 2021 was 45%. Um, in 2022, January of 2022 was up to 48%. And just last week here in San Juan County, we were down to 7.9% COVID positivity rate. So big difference. Um, big difference. Yeah. Uh, still out there. Still something to be aware of, right? And, and concerned. But we've learned a lot, I think, in the last three years about this disease and, and how to maybe uh, stay safe and stay healthy. Absolutely. And so remembering the big things, um, you know, wearing a mask if you are experiencing any type of respiratory symptom, um, making sure you're washing your hands, um, trying to keep your distance if you are the one that is sick, avoid touching your face. Um, that's a big one. And continuously wiping down surfaces as well. Right. All those things that we learned that uh, we need to keep doing. Yes. Even three years out. But that's how that's how it is. And, and that it'll it'll always be that way. We always, right. Right. It's kind of changed. We talked about this, too. It's turning from a pandemic to an endemic, right? Correct. Which is just one of those things like the flu that comes around every every season or so, right? Absolutely. That's what we're thinking. So there you go. Interesting. Very good. Uh, Shailene Brown, let me come back to you a little bit about your work with the clinics at uh, San Juan Health Partners. And you mentioned one of them, but you have some others I know that you're that you're working with as well. But what else is, is new in your world these days? Well, we've... Um been busy with um, just, um, we recently acquired our um, San Juan Health Partners Obstetrics and Gynecology practices. Um, so all of our um, obstetric and gynecology physicians in um, Farmington are now under San Juan Health Partners. So we did that November 1st. We're super excited to be able to offer that service line as well. So um, we've been very busy with right. um, all of our um, practices growing, and we're super excited about that. That is exciting and good news. And it seems like we heard, you know, during the pandemic that folks maybe weren't um, maybe going to see their doctor as often or going to take care of health issues as, as often just because there was a lot of unknowns and things like that. Are we seeing some of that change a bit more? Are folks starting to come back to see their, their primary care and other physicians and specialists to kind of maybe get some of these long-running problems dealt with and, and try to find out what's going on? Yes, we're definitely seeing an increase in visits um, across the board, especially around our primary care. Um, pediatrics, we're seeing um, record numbers in our pediatric clinics. Um, you know, just all of those wellness visits and people were putting those kind of things off. They're starting to come back now. Um, they, you know, they understand it's safe now to come back into the medical offices and um, we're able to now um, take care of all of those non-emergent needs and primary care needs as well. So yes, we are seeing that increase. Gotcha. Very, very good. Tammy Thornton, let me come back to you and ask you a bit about your decision to kind of bring in the um, respiratory clinic back inside. And you mentioned to me before too that you used some data and some procedures that were happening at the emergency department, right, to help in your decision making of how to how to make this transition safe and good for your for your patients, correct? Correct. And so um, I, I went and did a walkthrough of the emergency department and they have been um, back indoors and they've separated their respiratory, non-respiratory patients. They've been doing this for some time. I don't have a specific date, but they've been doing it for some time um, safely and effectively. So Got you. And so you kind of learned from, from them a little bit about trying, what they were doing. Absolutely. Trying to model what the um, San Juan Regional Medical Center Ur Emergency Department is doing. Right, right. Very good. And when it comes to urgent care, um, just walk me through a little bit about some of the things that you think about when you're working on the on the, on the organization and trying to get patients in and, and out. No one likes to wait, but it just depends. I know you're open as long as you are, and some, some days you can't predict how many patients are going to walk through that door. I don't think you can ever predict how many patients are going to walk through that door, so you really have to just kind of manage the numbers as they ebb and flow throughout the day, I suppose, right? Um, absolutely, and that's one of the things, you know, when we looked at bringing the respiratory clinic back indoors, is this something that we could decrease some of our wait times, um, you know, getting patients inside and um, putting them in, in rooms and trying to really decrease the amount of time that they have to spend at urgent, at San Juan Health Partners Urgent Care. Right, and that's working so far? Um, I think that we have seen a little decrease in the amount um, of wait times, yes. Gotcha. And again, I realize when you got 
20 people waiting for to be seen, people are going to have to wait a bit. There there will always be some some wait, sure. um, and some days are busier than others, So um, we and we can't predict that. Some days we can see up to 120 patients, some days we have 60, and there's it's unpredictable. Those are high numbers to me. Very high numbers. I just want that number to, to sink into the audience a little bit. You said 120? We can see up to 120 patients per a day. Per day. Per day. Okay, I just want, care. just want to make and sure. That's from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's not 24 hours, no, right? That's, that's yeah, <laughs> exactly. So that's significant, I would think, uh, with the staff that you have. And so that's an important thing for folks to, uh, to remember um, that they're dealing with it. But I think the one thing that we can agree on is the wait time at urgent care will usually be less than it would be at the emergency department if you're going down there and you don't have to go down there? Um, yes. Yes, it should be a, a lot you're right. less of a wait. Um, so I think the highest wait I've seen since I've been there at Urgent Care, it has been two to three hours. Um, and um, when we open in the morning at 9 a.m. is our busiest time. We tend to get a lot of patients um, through the door as soon as we open. Right, understood. So. That makes, that makes some sense. But again, it's important that folks realize, even if there's a wait at urgent care, if you go to the emergency department and you're not, and you shouldn't go to the emergency department, it's gonna be a longer wait for you down there because they're just, they're dealing with more serious health conditions and, and patients that are really in need of emergency care. And that's the difference. Absolutely. So if you go into the emergency department um, and it's it's something minor that could be seen at urgent care, they are going to, you know, triage the patients and they're going to be taking care of the emergencies um, first. And so you could have a longer wait there at their emergency right. room. Exactly. That's that's my understanding as well. So that's an important thing to know. My guest this morning from San Juan uh, Regional Urgent Health, San Juan Health Partners Urgent Care, pardon me, uh, talking about um, the urgent care and uh, Tammy Thornton is the new um, urgent care manager at San Juan Health Partners Urgent Care. Shailene Brown is here as well. She is a clinic director. And again, I thank you both for coming in this morning. Shailene, talk to me a little bit more about the work that you do with some of the some of the clinics, right? You're looking at as patients increase and, and the need for more space or how you manage the numbers that you that you have, correct? Correct. And you know, we're always doing ongoing recruitment efforts. Um, we have a recruiter that works with San Juan Regional Medical Center. Um, Terry Smith and her team work really hard to recruit um, and we're always looking at what is our community needs and where do we need to do that recruitment effort at. Um, <clears throat> we've got um, ongoing recruitment efforts, you know, continuously around our cardiology service lines. Um, um, neurology is a big one as well. And so we're always um, on the lookout for good um, physicians and um um, APPs, um, advanced practice, you know, nurse practitioners and uh, physician assistants to help um, take care of our patients and um, continued efforts um, trying to keep our patients here in San Juan County and not having to have them travel for their services as well. So. Right. Do you have a wish list of, uh, of people that you'd like to um, attract to the community or a service line that you'd like to um, see happen here if you could find the the professionals to staff it? I think um, the top of the wish list for me would be the two that come to mind for me uh, would be endocrinology um, and rheumatology. Um, we've been um, trying to recruit for those areas for a long time and it's very difficult to do. There's a shortage across the United States in those two areas. Right. I was going to say this isn't a unique problem to San Juan no, Health it's Partners. Not. It's happening across the country, mm -hmm. is it not? It is. It's across the country. and. Um, you know, we just don't uh, find that there are a lot of endocrinologists out there um, and the same with rheumatology as well. Right, right, very good. Um, Tammy Thornton, back to you to ask a bit about urgent care. And I know um, one of the things that you pride yourself on are the, the staff that you have at urgent care and that they are um, credentialed and have certain standards, correct, to, to work um, in, in the urgent care? Absolutely. We have an amazing staff over at San Juan Health Partners Urgent Care. Um, we've got uh, several board certified um, physicians, um, several registered nurses, medical assistants, and our front staff, our CSRs, are just the entire team is an amazing group. And that's something you strive for, right, is to have those physicians there on, on staff and available to the patients if, if needed, right, depending on their level of care when they come through the door? Absolutely. Our goal is to provide high-quality care to these patients. So, 
board certified physicians. We have, right. Right. We have board certified physicians with um, a strong tie to our community. Um, many of those um, physicians and uh, nurse practitioners and PAs and, and um, urgent care have um, been at our urgent care for several years um, and they're active members of our community. Which is great. Mm -hmm. And I imagine that helps with recruitment too, right? When you're trying to, if there's a maybe a a new a new ish physician who's uh, who's in practice maybe and they have an opportunity to come back to their hometown and provide a, a service to their friends and neighbors and, and family perhaps that might be a a way to to sell that that opening when you when you have them it is um and um you know, Dr. Singleton is one of our um, shining stars for our urgent care. She's, you know, uh, um, she's very committed to our community, um, has strong ties to our community. And, and um, so she's one of those um, those successes that we, we encourage and we want to talk about all of the time is they, they leave and they get their education and then they come back to our community. And, and that's really what we want. Right. Very, very true. And she's been a guest here numerous, numerous, numerous times. times. And yes. I know um, she would probably agree. Um, and, and it's great to see her so involved with the many things that she is involved mm -hmm. with and continuing to, to serve the patients and, uh, and of the community in numerous ways. Yes. So it's great. It's great to see. We just have a couple of minutes remaining this morning. Final thoughts um, as we talk a little bit about some of the clinics. You were mentioning the expansion. Um, again, talk, remind our folks about that, the newest uh, location. Um, so San Juan Regional um, Medical Center Interventional Spine is our newest location located on Farmington Avenue. Um, and again, they are um, taking care of our patients um, interventionally without narcotics, um, t working to alleviate their pain in other ways. Um, so it's an excellent service that they offer. Um, and then we have our San Juan Health Partners um, Obstetrics and Gynecology Groups. Um, that we recently acquired in November and uh, they continue to take patients as well. And so we're excited to have them join us too. So, okay. Very, very good. And Tammy Thornton again, urgent care is open. Um, give us the hours and days again, just so we have that down. Yes, so San Juan Health Partners Urgent Care is open seven days a week, including weekends and holidays from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, and again, we are bringing our respiratory clinic back indoors. Um, we do require any patients with respiratory symptoms to wear a mask, but highly encourage all patients to. Okay. Very, very good. Well, thank you both for coming in this morning. Great information to share with our audiences, and I really appreciate you both being